Hello and welcome to the Workouts for Older Men podcast. I am Skip LaCour and I'm so glad you are joining me for this podcast. Hey, this is going to be a quick podcast, but in this podcast, I want to talk about the information that is presented, whether it's by me or any other influencer, young or old, the information that's being presented, because how you're interpreting the, the information is really affecting your muscle gain and your fat loss, but even more importantly than that, it, it's having an impact on the whole journey. If you think it's worth it, if you think you're on the right track, how much certainty and confidence, I got other things to worry about. Look, I got, I got my job, I got my family. I got other things going on. I don't have time to waste with this muscle building and taking all this information all over the internet. It's so confusing. Uh, and if you're a little bit older, you got a busy life, you gotta put your willpower, focus, and energy uh, into where the biggest payoff is gonna be. And if even if you want to be healthy and fit, if you're so confused, so frustrated, you think you're wasting your time, you might not be wasting your time, but you just aren't understanding the information that it's, uh, that as it's being presented. Your whole experience uh, can be so taxing, so draining, you, you just <laughs> push it aside, even though you want to get healthy, you want to get fit, you want to build that muscle, you want to look that body fat, right? And so, so l let me just, uh, you, this is a theme that I'm going to come back over and over again, and it's kind of a challenge that I have presenting the way uh, that you know maybe has you listening to the 15th podcast in a row, making sure you get them in because you know I'm I'm building trust with you and rapport, and uh, you got to know where I'm coming from and how I present this information. And if you can figure out why all the information seems so conflicting uh, from all the other fitness experts, again, young, old, or something, you know, in between, um, it'll help you move forward with certainty and confidence. Now. I remember uh, I, this one gentleman, uh, this wasn't too long ago, it was within 10 years ago, and, you know, it's fitness related, and he was going, you know, ah, doctors, doctors don't know anything, right? You know, be your own, um, you know, doctor, right? Make your own decisions, right? And I remember at the, that time, so this was pre-COVID, and I was like, on, who is this guy, this conspiracy theorist? Who would, you know, like, how do people know how to make their own judgment when it comes to medicine or anything like that right you know i'm how i was raised you know uh you respect authority so my thinking like if somebody an authority a doctor someone do that study i i guess i pretty much assumed that they knew what they were talking about then we had covid and even though i'm older i mean covid changed my opinion of how i looked at everything because for something that is so life and death like COVID, uh, so many people were affected, their livelihoods, lockdowns, all this, you know, the kids and their formation, everybody had so much to ride on. I, I think, you know, a few years later, we're just really seeing the impact. We, as, 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 uh, as people uh, dealing with something for the first time in our life, so, you know, drawing, right? We did what we had to do. And uh, did our best, probably didn't think about it. Now we're, we're really maybe just starting to understand that impact, right? But when something that's life and death supposed to be so black and white, I, I, it, it was so apparent that all the experts and the pers people that supposedly had our best interests, uh, they didn't, didn't agree on something. If it's science, right? The scientists make you think that, and you see that in our fitness world, whether they're nutritionists or whatever, they, they act like science is so black and white. But why do they fight amongst each other if it's so black and white? Why are they always name calling? Oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about, even though he's a doctor, he's a PhD, a medical doctor, whatever, right? So they're all so obviously <laughs> the truth, <laughs> science isn't as black and white as I thought, <laughs> right? Or I guess I assumed, right? When money's involved, you know, probably you know, with with COVID and especially now, it's like. Man, there's so much money guiding decisions looking the other way. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. You know, that's probably in the best. All this rationalization for all these things that affected so many lives, right? It just made me really think, you know, uh, maybe money and bias drive everything, even on something as black and white in science. So, you know, when I hear all these studies, right, you know, like, like I, look, I 
teach you the basic organizing fundamentals that when you do them, that you hit you hard, you're going to get a result. There's building muscle and losing body fat, right? Um, you know, I read the science. I applied the science. I don't talk science because I'm, I'm not a scientist, all right? Uh, but, but, you know, but here, here's the thing about all this. There's always some new guy who wants to make a new identity, who's a new scientist, and they're always thinking of this new little thing that's supposed to be this, making this game-changer difference all the time. All right? And he's a PhD. He's an expert, right? He's on social media. He has a great following. All right? That's fine. But here's where uh, a lot of men get all mixed up. They see these new breaking science as game-changers, it's like, man, if you did it that old way, that is so old school, so old fashioned. That's not going to work like this new school stuff. Where really the dis the difference is insignificant. It may be a difference. It may be optimal or whatever. But it isn't like how it's presented, like black or white, a major shift. The way you used to it is totally ineffective. And this new science, if you're not on it, so many men hear all this this information and they think it's hit or miss. Because they're, they did it this way, and they're looking at themselves. They're, they're 40 pounds overweight. They got too much body fat, but they think it's 20 pounds, <laughs> right? Okay? They think that little thing with nutrition or the timing of the nutrition or the order you eat your food or this study on volume of training or this one going to failure or time and attention. I mean, yes, there's signs there. Yes, there's presenting. Yes, it's presented like this is it. Yep, you're not doing But it's not that way. It may give you – and. You know, an insignificant difference, even if it's one or two percent, which I, you know, there's no direct, you know, studies, real studies, right? And I don't mean to be a conspiracy theorist, but if it's distracting you from doing the basic, or you think because of these, the, this information, this new, newfangled information, again, I'm not one of those old, so we'll get the ball off my lawn kind of guy, but it's distracting people. They're, they don't, they think, they didn't do that or they've been doing it for so long. And that's why I'm not building muscle. That's why. And that's not the case. See, a lot of times it may make a difference, but not nearly what you might think. And nobody's telling you what the difference is. They just say hey, the new study and the blah, 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 this and that, right? But I'll tell you this, just like with COVID, right? Okay, so I grew up on the Internet, right? I mean, right when it hit and, and through the bodybuilding and everything, and so you think, oh, this study comes out. I don't know about you from my 35 years doing this. All these new studies that come out just reinforce things that were talked about all the time. That, you know, whether it's high volume or low volume, that's already been hashed out years and years ago. All right? And, and it's like this new study. Here's the other thing. You know, again, I don't want to disparage anybody's profession or what they do. But, you know, here, oh, it's a peer-reviewed study. You know, trust me, when you talk about, you know, like even muscle building, there are only a few nerds and the big picture of thing of all the masses, a few nerds that even want to get into the science of all this. Right? I'm not saying their study <laughs> isn't, you know, accurate. But what I'm saying, you may think it's, it's the biggest difference in the world. And their peers... Well, they all, you know, oh, hey, hey, you're my peer. You do this one for me, wink, wink. You, I do the next one for you. It's a very small group. And then who is funding these studies? You know, the, the, the supplement industry uh, probably it does them all because, you know, and, and the, the supplements and the manufacturers, because if they can link muscle building to this, that, or the other thing, right, then they, they'll be able to, uh, you know, sell, <laughs> you know, more and more, pounds and pounds and pounds of mass. So the thing is, even if it did work, how much is it working? Is that the game changer? A lot of times it's not. You know, here's the other thing, too, with the information that's presented. And I kind of talk about this all the time. Uh, as I, you know, want to meet with you with these, these podcasts, right? Hey, look, it, it, it's not going to be too many podcasts where I'll be repeating the same most important information over and over again. All right? Because there's, it's not, it's for, it's not. You don't need to keep on talking, doing the weeds, and get to the little things that interesting, that's new. It doesn't really matter. But I, I'm out of material, <laughs> right? 
a lot of the information that you're getting, it's because they're out of material, not because it's a game changer. It's new. It's different. New eyeballs. I'm not saying it's, it's right or wrong, but it's not a game changer. They run out of material. They've said the same things. The basic organized principle of success, too much, right? So you think, you know, look, come to me. Let's talk about some coaching for you, some accountability to do what you know at this point. Instead of looking for more information or think that you need more information or it's just this or that, right? I don't know the information you've settled upon. It may not be the most effective, but after you understand what you're doing, then it's making sure you do what you understand. So reach out to me for one-on-one coaching. We can get this all set up. But I'm just giving you some of the things to think about. If you're a person who stops and starts, here's this, runs over here to try that or that or think, oh, that's why I look that way because I'm not eating with this thing. How I wish I would have known that years ago. It wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't matter. You've been maybe a little bit more efficient, a little more optimized, but it's not the game changer. I think I've said game changer 42 times in this uh, one podcast. All right, so that's going to do it for this Workouts for Old Men podcast. Reach out to me. i got many ways to help you reach your goal. Let's take on the day with a sense of urgency. We have to when we're a little bit older. We've got more time behind us than we do in front of us. Have a great day.